I gotta say, thanks to Amarillo National for making this beautiful room and making it available tonight because when you're up here, you can see all the cool things we're doing in Center City. So just, just a little commercial there. I love, I love the view. I love the view. We'll open these when the sun goes down. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us tonight. You know, it's really, this award has a special place in my heart because we have a lot of award ceremonies in Amarillo in summer for volunteer work or civic work. This is a time we really reflect and honor women for their career achievements. And I think that is so important. So thank you for being here tonight. I had the honor of nominating uh, two Career Achievement Award winners tonight. And my first recipient I'd like to introduce is Captain Elizabeth Brown. I nominated Captain Brown for this award for her achievement in being the first woman promoted to the rank of captain in our Amarillo Police Department. When I read about her promotion, I knew I wanted to nominate her for this honor, even though I had never formally met her. And of course, you're always supposed to say you never formally met an officer, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Good job, Beth, good job. <laughs> but Brown was sworn in as captain on January 28, 2016. She's one of five lieutenants competing for the position. She worked her way up at the Amarillo Police Department, where she began as a civilian dispatcher in the year 2000. She became an officer in 2002. She served in the Uniform Division and Service Division as an officer, corporal, sergeant, and supervisor. She moved to the Detective Division and then became the third female to reach the rank of lieutenant, taking over the Crimes Against Persons Unit in 2013. In 2015, she transferred to the Midnight Shift and became the first female shift commander at APD. You'll learn a lot about Amarillo on the Midnight Shift, right? <laughs> um, she told the Globe News in this quote, I've really been blessed to hold a variety of positions. This won't be my first command assignment. Everything I've done, all the steps I've taken have prepared me for today. And I thought that was really a great statement in all of our careers because everything we do prepares us for what we're doing today. And I think that's a great quote. Brown has also commanded the hostage negotiation team, the dive team, and was Region 1 Amber Alert Coordinator. Now she is one of four captains in a leadership role at Amarillo Police Department. Captain Brown has achieved a first in Amarillo with this promotion. Her leadership is an example and a role model to other women seeking a career in law enforcement. She is a worthy recipient of the Career Achievement Award. Please join me in congratulating Captain Brown on this honor. my support team and my leadership team. Um, first, my wonderful husband. Stand up so I can show you all. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and my is absolutely my best friend. I, I could not do the career I have without having such amazing support. Um, we have two boys. They're four and six. Um, and he is the best father to our children and the most amazing husband. I love you so much. All right. <laughs> you know, I always say if I'm ever half the woman that my mother is, then I know I may have done well with my life. My mom taught me how to, to set goals, um, how to understand that failure is a part of the process, and that the only thing that is permanent is if you quit. If you fail, you get back up, you try again, you do better, but if you quit, game over. So that I have carried that throughout my life because... Um, even with my education, um, my bachelor's degree is at um, WT in psychology, but how many majors did I have? We had, we had art, we had sports, <laughs> <laughs> um, English, we, I mean, I, I, I tried it all on, and, you know, sometimes things don't fit, so you take it off and you try on something else, and I finally settled on one, and I, I kind of did the same thing with my master's, but again, um, you got to try it on, try it off, um, so she taught me to just not quit, to just keep pushing forward. 
and that, that nothing is unattainable. And I think that is something that I'm so thankful for. Thank you, Mom. And then, I have my mentor, Colonel Martin Bergenfeld, stand up. Yay! And I, I had the honor um, of working with him um, in our Crimes Against Persons Unit, which we've now renamed our Special Victims Unit. Um, he recruited me to the position, and I thought, you know, God, this is such an elite unit, and this is a huge step moving into this position, and, and you know, I, he believed in me, so I believed in me, and it was an amazing journey, and um, I've, I've kind of followed him ever since. We kind of keep getting paired up, and it's a blessing and an honor, and I can tell you, this, is, this man is one of the best listeners ever. I had full conversations where he doesn't say a word. <laughs> but my problem is always solved. I always leave with a solution. So thank you for that grace and that patience and that leadership because I you have you have been there for me through all these all these promotions and all these challenges and, and I'm so thankful that I have you as a role model and someone that I've been able to follow. So thank you. He was an interim, and then we hooked him, and he decided to stay. Um, he has been an amazing leader for us. We have seen more growth, and he has been able to move roadblocks. And our department is in, a, in such an exciting place right now because we have a vision, we have a direction, and we are just bringing our department to the world-class police department that Amaral deserves. So thank you. Chief. <laughs> My background and my journey, so I, I won't rehash all that. But I, you know, I've had a couple people ask me, "How did you choose law enforcement?" <laughs> well, I didn't choose law enforcement. Law enforcement chose me, and I think that that's that's how God works in our life. That we we may think, oh, "I'm going to do this," you know. My husband says I'm kind of a cross between a border collie and a trap. <laughs> I have to have a job, like a border collie. I have to stay busy. I have to have I have to be constantly doing something. But sometimes I like that shiny thing, and I gotta go over here for a, bit, a little bit. So, um, he, I think that, that that's kind of how my life was growing up. I wasn't sure what I wanted to be when I grew up. I knew I wanted to help people, and I knew I wanted to do something that, that really mattered. I wanted to change the world. Well, I don't believe that's cliche. I believe that's what law enforcement does. And, Amen. Um, I started because I, I worked in aquatics. I taught swim lessons, and I, I ran the swim lesson program at, at City of Amarillo. So at one point, I probably taught a lot of your children how to swim. <laughs> and we were having a problem at one of our pools. And we had some riffraff that weren't letting kids use the deep end. And so we got it approved to hire a police officer to come and just be the presence there to kind of stop the bullying. And that officer worked in dispatch, and they said, hey, you know, we're hiring dispatchers. And I used to, anyone else watch that show, Emergency 911, growing up? Mm. Yes! <laughs> and so I was like, oh, a dispatcher, how glamorous. That was the one. I want to do that. Shiny thing again, right? Um, I tried out for dispatch and I got in. Well, part of our dispatch training is you get to do what we call a ride along with an officer. It's like cops in first person. And so um, I got out there and I fell in love with it. I was like, this, this is what I was called to do. This is my destiny. And it has been an amazing ride ever since. And 17 years later, I, I couldn't be happier with my choice. I love being a police officer. I love everything that we stand for. I love serving our city. I love protecting you while you sleep. Um, I love being there in the mornings to, to wake up and you guys know that you can, you can get your day going and we're out there to protect you and serve you. And I feel so blessed to be where I'm at, in the position I'm at, and able to lead our men and women um, into this next wonderful phase that Chief Drain has planned for us. And I'm so honored to be with these women tonight, to be with this group, and thank you for blessing me with this. I am so, so honored. Thank you so much.